Hi partners, um, just reporting what I take away from all of your case studies. First of all, let me say thank you for sharing your case studies with me and um, I, like Michael, really appreciate the complexity that each of you had to your case studies. And it made me really think about my own um, scenario. For example, Alexis, your grab and go breakfast really hit home for me because our whole district had done grab and go free breakfast for every student in the county for the last two years. And then because funding fell through, they cut it this year, which I, I understand about the funding, but it's caused a significant drop in who what participates or who participates in food programs in our school as a whole. Um, breakfast numbers were really, really, really down. And I feel like looking at our community and the um, amount of students that are on free and reduced lunch already that we really need to consider an alternative alternative approach or another uh, funding option to bring this back. I really feel like our community needs it and it sounds like something yours does as well. So thank you for sharing that. I know there's a lot that goes into planning something like a grab and go breakfast. Um, Michael, I enjoyed yours as well. Um, speaking of code downs, code reds, code ins, whatever you want to call them, um, we had a recent situation where our office staff uh, were told to call a code in, which is what our school typically calls it. But when she um, when when she went in to call code in, our teachers um, she said code down instead. And our teachers didn't realize that it meant the same thing. And so they didn't go into lockdown mode. And of course we, I don't, I wouldn't say cited for it, but we were definitely reprimanded for not having those clarifications. And so I find it um, fascinating. It was, it caused a lot of teacher confusion and we've had to do some staff development. We'll continue to do staff development on that. Uh, we even had some students that were brought back into the building instead of further away from the building. So having those processes in place is super important. Uh, Murphy, your information about McKinney Vento really hit home with us um, or home with me for our school because of the same situation. Um, right now we have a bus that's going a little bit more out of the way. Now it's a regular ed bus, but they're going a little bit more out of the way to be able to pick up one of our students that was recently classified as McKinney Vento in order to pick him up from the home that his family is being housed at. It has certainly made our already long routes um, even longer. And that's something that we're currently working on too. So I appreciate you sharing that with us and would be interested to hear more about how your outcome is on that. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your semester and wrap up everything well and go into the holidays having time spent with family. Take care.